Hello, and welcome to Stage Makeup with Kyla. Today is fantasy makeup. What is fantasy makeup? Can be anything. I'm going to show you a few techniques through the demonstration of a Cirque du Soleil inspired clown. Oh, I should have said trigger warning if you're scared of clowns. Device is too hot. Video quality may be affected. We're gonna sally forth. I'm learning about filming videos. <laughs> I'm doing my best. And so this is what I want to show you. Essentially a clown inspired by Cirque du Soleil clowns, which are inspired by all sorts of cultural clowns. And yeah, yeah. So whichever fantasy creature you're going to do, do some research. So it could be primary or secondary research. Maybe your fantasy creature is a tree sprite and your research images are pictures of trees. Maybe your fantasy creature is a clown and your research images are pictures of other clowns. So I'm going to do some of these exaggerated eyebrows, exaggerated eyes, shapes of lips. Cirque du Soleil is known for really exaggerated expression features, which is, I mean, clown ideas. Um, it's also kind of connected to the idea of a drag, maybe a drag queen or king depending on the expression of it, is your fantasy creature. So we're going to put the eyebrows in a place where the eyebrows aren't. This uh, is kind of a fantasy version of the wrinkle under the eye, which I have, naturally. We're going to do something like that. We're using all kinds of unnatural colors. What else? There's more unnatural colors. Yeah, fades of blue, fades of white. This guy is from Lanuva. I got to see that show before it closed. Yeah, some clowns seem always happy. Some clowns seem always sad. All right, there's the research images. So I'm going to keep referencing those, keep those nearby. I've got my schematic in front of me. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to show you a few different techniques. Start by getting your hair out of your face. Start with a clean face. If my face looks like it has some white foundation at the edges, it's because I just took off my koala makeup. But I strategically did that right before this makeup because this is going to be a white base as well. So yeah, so still starting with a clean as possible face, a layer of toner to get the pores closed. For your fantasy makeup materials, you're welcome to come up with a fantasy creature based on what's in your kit. If you've got the Ben Nye kit, you've got white, black, brown, shades of beige, you've got this color wheel, that has red and orange and a color that looks like black but is actually dark lavender, misty violet, and brown. And you've got these pinks and a black and a brown. So you can create a lot of fantasy looks with just that. If you've got the Kryolan kit, you've got some brown and black and pink powders, you've got some pink lip colors, and you've got the range of browns and beiges from the palette. So you're welcome to come up with a fantasy creature with just those things. You're also welcome to incorporate whatever else you want to collect or that you already have in your own collection. I'm going to show you some things with glitter and bright colors because those are my personal aesthetic. But you're welcome to use whatever fits in with your personal aesthetic for your makeup design. Alright, the first technique that I'm going to share with you is blocking out the eyebrows. There's a bajillion different ways to do this. You can look further on YouTube for people that have figured out how it works for them. I'm going to show you two ways to, to approach it. You can try both of those ways, try either one of those ways, see what works for you. The idea, what we're going for is eliminating your natural eyebrows to then draw the eyebrows somewhere else on the face. I've washed my hands also. Wash your hands, wash your face. One way to eliminate the eyebrows is using soap. You might find this to be effective, you might not. I went to a workshop at SCTC a few weeks ago. The workshop was blood and guts and zombie makeup, and they talked extensively about the soap scum method and how perfect it is. I've got a bar of antibacterial dial soap that I've rinsed off, and I'm brushing my eyebrow forward so that there's a layer of soap underneath the natural growth pattern of the eyebrows. Then I'm brushing it back the other way. At this stage in the game, you can also use an eyebrow brush, or you might have success with your fingers, but what you're trying to do is press those eyebrow hairs down against your face. 
I'm going to do the soap method on one side and the glue method on the other side. Another option is covering your eyebrows with liquid latex. So you'll see both of these and you'll see which one is more effective in my case. All right, my eyebrow is pretty smooth to my face. On the other side, a glue stick. A cheap glue stick you can get at Target or on Amazon. People will tell you you have to have a certain brand, experiment with different brands, see what works for you. Same idea. I'm going to start by gluing my eyebrow from back to front so that I'm getting glue underneath all those eyebrow hairs. Then I'm going to press it from the center to the outside towards my hairline. So I'm smushing all those eyebrow hairs down smooth to my face. That actually worked really well. This glue I just bought recently for a collage project we did at SCTC. So it's fresh glue. I think that might have to do with it. If you've got old glue, it won't work as well. All right, my eyebrow is pretty flat down to my face. I did that first while immediately following toner before anything else because I want to give the soap and the glue a chance to dry. So while they're drying, I'm going to talk about the base. I'm going to go with the white base because I've got the Ben Nye White because like why not <laughs> but your fantasy creature maybe you're doing a mermaid and the base is green or blue then cover the whole face with green or blue in advanced stage makeup last semester one of the students designed a character who is a space creature and needed to have pink skin as the base so they covered the whole face in pink lip gloss anything can be anything so I'm going to start with the base avoiding the eyebrows as that glue and soap is still drying. But as with all the bases for everything, you, I want a smooth, even coverage. I don't want to see the streaks of the sponge or the brush or whatever you're using to put it on. If it's important to you that it be opaque, you might put multiple layers. If that's not important to you, if your fantasy creature is maybe a creature that is transformed from a human, Maybe it could be translucent and you could see the human skin underneath it. But something as a base that you can blend into. It only takes a few seconds, minutes for that glue and soap to dry. So I'm probably good to put base over top of them now. So put base everywhere that you're going to put makeup. If you've got light colored eyebrows, or if your eyebrows are just close to your skin, it'll be easier to hide your eyebrows. If you have darker eyebrows, it'll be more difficult to hide them. I'm going to put a layer of translucent powder just over the eyebrows and then another layer of this cream color base. My eyebrows are slightly darker than my skin tone and my translucent powder is here. So I'm going to press the translucent powder into the eyebrows. I don't want to set the cream color everywhere else because I'm going to make adjustments to it, but just over the eyebrows. And then another layer of base color. So they start to disappear. They're still apparent. The real trick with hiding your eyebrows is adding darker, more exaggerated eyebrows or details elsewhere on the face so that the eye is drawn there instead of to where the naturally occurring eyebrows are. So spend as much time on this as you desire. If it's important to you that your eyebrows be really invisible, maybe add more layers of powder and base. I'm happy there. All right. So let's start at the top. Since I've been talking about eyebrows, my idea to circle back to this is a clown who's raising one eyebrow. So I'm going to draw these eyebrows on the forehead using the eyebrow pencil, the black eyebrow pencil that came with the Ben Nye kit. You could also use cream color for this. I drew the outline and I'm filling it in. I 
another option with eyebrows. If you watched the Star is Born 2019 with Lady Gaga, when she goes to take her stage makeup off, her eyebrows are stickers. You could absolutely cut a piece of electrical tape into a shape and stick that onto your face as an eyebrow. I want this one to be a bit more arched. <laughs> All right, that's a start. Next, to make the eyes look exaggerated. My vision for the eye is something that starts even beyond the tear duct and extends in an exaggerated form out. For this, you could use a color that comes with your kit. You could use, I'm gonna use a variety of things. One idea is liquid eyeliner. So I've got this Kesha Rose liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna experiment with this. Any anything you've got, you can experiment with. Oh yeah, that pretty much looked how I wanted it to look. Cool. You could also use acrylic paint and a paintbrush. So my vision for this is that it's blue on the outside and then green on the inside. So with the blue, I'm painting just the outside edge to start. You can make your eyes match if you want. I'm going to try something different on the other eye. For the green on the inside, I've had this for a million years. I got it at Hot Topic. It's a wax-based pigment. You could use Halloween makeup. I don't have any in front of me, but makeup that you get Halloween time, actually I have a whole palette of it. These cream colors that you can get at the Spirit Halloween store, those are great, inexpensive. I'm going to use my favorite makeup brushes, which are the $5 set from Michaels for acrylic paint. It's getting old. Well, ever tried, ever failed. I have another idea. What if I put a powder shadow in the middle? Let's experiment with that. So you're welcome to mix in whatever powder shadows you got. If you're like me, you've got a lot. Ranging in all different expenses. This Revlon I got from CVS for like $2 a million years ago. A million years ago. This Ben Nye I got for free at USITT. Hopefully we're back at USITT next year. I've also got palettes and palettes full of colors, which same thing. You can have a range of palettes. You can get an inexpensive palette. I'm going to try this green. This is Kat Von D. I think it's discontinued, but there's, I'm sure there's an equivalent out there. Oh yeah. And because I put the base of the cream color, now I'm pressing the pressed powder shadow into the white and it's kind of apparent. I'm happy with that look. Yeah, scary clown eye. All right, and let's try something different on the other eye. So we tried the liquid liner here. What's another option? What were my other plans for blue? Oh yeah. Why not put lip gloss in your eyes? Why not? This is actually a liquid color. It's Kat Bundy also discontinued, but I've had it for a while. But whatever, if you have a shimmery lipstick, why not make it a shimmery eye? Yeah. I'm going to go back with the paintbrush and make that a bit more pronounced. I want it to be pointy there. Anything can be anything. And then for the green in the middle, maybe it's glitter. I've got this cool glitter set 
that a student gave me for Secret Santa last year. I'm gonna use the green electric glitter. I'm gonna use my finger, not a brush, to press the glitter into the cream color. You could also experiment with a brush. The thing about glitter is it won't, it will stick just slightly just to your face, but it will stick if you've got a base of something, either a lip, a lip gloss, or the cream color. The student that gave me this makeup did a demonstration in advanced stage makeup of a glamour Pennywise the Clown using glitter, and it was incredible. So that's another option for your fantasy creature. Maybe it's a glamorous clown or glamorous and scary. All right, so there's exaggerated eye shapes using four different materials. For this under eye exaggerated wrinkle look, I'm gonna go back to the liquid eyeliner because that was easy, <laughs> because it exists. But you could also use acrylic paint and a thin paintbrush. You could use a, an eyeliner pencil or an eyebrow pencil. Let's see, what are the colors have I got? Oh, black, blue, gold. I don't think gold's gonna show up enough, so let's stick with the blue. Hotite. I'm going to show you two different techniques on the cheeks. What I drew in my schematic is two round rosy cheeks. I'm going to do one round rosy cheek and one exaggerated cheek. Exaggerated dimensional cheek. So, brush. using the Ben Nye Red cream color. You could use red lipstick for this too, actually, if you had it. I'll make this cheek a circle. So when doing bright colors, it's possible to set the colors in with translucent powder, or you could set the colors with powdered, pigmented, colored eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to show you on this cheek. I happen to have a Makeup Forever Red. It's kind of messy. And I'm gonna press that in and it'll set the cream color and intensify the red. So you could use a pressed powder shadow, you could use a loose powder shadow like this one. <laughs> Looking frightening. All right, on the other cheek, I'm going to use a frisket. A frisket is like a stencil. You can use a three by five index card, which I couldn't find any when I was setting up for this. So I'm gonna use a post-it and I think this will work. So I'm using the uh, flat acrylic paintbrush into the red cream color. And then I'm placing the frisket in the shape that I want it. And my vision is that it's a sharp line that blends upward. Oh yeah, the post-it worked. Cool. Maybe a three by five card would have been more stable, but this is the idea of a first get. And you could cut it into a curved shape. You could cut it into a round shape. You could make it a zigzag and then use it to block out whatever you're not painting. You could cut a shape into it like a stencil. All right, the cheeks are looking wild. The eyes are looking wild. Let's do the nose next, then the lips. So my vision for the nose, inspired by these clowns, is similar techniques that we did on stout and lean and corrective, except with exaggerated colors. So I'm gonna draw, using the red cream color, 
the sides of the nose and then blend that towards, don't need that post-it. I'm also going to exaggerate the nostrils and then blend that towards the base of the nose. So the idea that I'm trying to tell you is that you can exaggerate any of the features, you can obstruct any of the features, you can use techniques that we did with other makeups but use them in other ways and other colors. If you want to make the nose look exaggerated, if you want to obstruct the nose like we did with the koala. I'm, I'll go back to that. I want to do some more things around the mouth. But let's move on to the lips. What is my plan for the lips? What other materials do I have to show you? You can use what other lip color, whatever lip colors you have on hand. I think to make them look, this is gonna look scary. So get ready. I'm gonna use the pencil that came with the kit to draw the shape of the lips. And I'm gonna draw them way beyond the shape of the natural lips. You might experiment with drawing the lips into a frown or drawing the lips into a smile. <laughs> Alright, so there's the outline. You could fill in with whatever colors you have, or if you happen to have a lip color, I think that's where I'm going. I'm going to use a lip color, oh, actually let's use one of these. <coughs> We're learning. The phone fell. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's another Ben Nye sample that I got at USITT. If you go to the Ben Nye booth at USITT and ask for samples, they'll give you some next year in Columbus. So these are Ben Nye cream colors. And that's what I'm going to use. But you could use any, any makeup you happen to have. I think these, yeah, this is meant for a lip color. You could use the Kryolan lip colors if you got the Kryolan kit. Hmm. I don't think this is I chose the pink to go with I don't think it's going to be as dark as I want let's see what this red does <laughs> yep, looking terrifying. 